meet my most aggressive little girl ever. You guys think uh, Beardy Dragons can't be green and mean or anything? Watch this. I mean, this is me just trying to hold her. This is the only way I can do it. I gotta go underneath her chin and like pet her down. But even though, watch this. She's incredibly aggressive. Can't, can't try to hold her or she'll try to eat you. See that? You guys ever watch that Steve Irwin episode when the bearded dragon jumps up and bites you in the face? Well, bites him in the nose? Yeah, this is probably her when she was a baby. <laughs> Man, Spudrell is no joke. So, don't ever think that uh, bearded dragons can't be aggressive. Because they can. And, I mean, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not the type of person that taunts or abuses my animals. So, believe me, it's just, a, you know, it's just in them. Unfortunately, I got her from a pretty bad breeder, which, as you can see, she was not very handled as a baby. I'm trying to get her. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, baby. Oh. See, what I try to do is I tire her out a little. So then uh, I can just come up behind, catch her slipping. But she's still too damn quick. She's good, man. She's really good at this. See? Gotta go slowly. Bum. See? And, and it's not impossible. You just gotta be very patient with them. Look at this. Look at this. That's the killer. The killer. Almost. That was first attempt. See? But it's okay. It's okay. You just gotta be calm with them. Don't, don't really be mean. Don't yell at them. Just, you know, be, be patient. They're just very angry. You know, sometimes they get like this. And that's all because of the way, like I said, the breeder takes care of them as a baby. It's okay. See? I mean, eventually they'll calm down. Just like any animal, you gotta have patience with them. They don't want to, you know, cooperate. You just give them more attention. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying because I love this little girl. She's no, she's really a sweetheart. Normally, I, 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 I'm not even trying to be funny. She's normally a real big sweetheart. It's just right now, she's trying to prove a point that she's the king bee. But see. Look at that. I'm not even barely holding her. She's not jumping out of my hands. She's just being really aggressive. It's okay, pretty girl. Yeah. See? It's okay. So don't think just because you have a little aggressive dragon, because ain't nobody as aggressive as my guy. My little girl here, she's a killer. But, see? Even I can pet her and hold her. Look at her. She eventually calms down. See? So if you guys ever wonder... Can I ever pick up my aggressive animal? Yeah. But see, you're just going to have to keep on holding her. Yeah, there you go. See? That's with one hand. See, I'm not even holding her now. You see how jumpy and crazy she was getting? They'll get calm. You just got to give them time. Be patient with them. With any animal that, ooh, that you love, you have to be patient with them. That's here. See? Mean old Spudrella. And like I said, the only reason she's so aggressive is because of the fact that, and watch, I've already given her loves and she knows it, she'll still come after me. Hey, it's a girl. See? Hey, it's a good girl. You can't always tame any mean animal. Everybody's like, oh, how do I do it, how do I do it? I'll tell you one thing, though, you do want to be very careful because they do have a really nice bite. They can bite down and make you bleed. So be very careful if you do something like this. Just be very slow and patient with them. See, you go down. Oh, <laughs> she came at that one, didn't she? <laughs> see, you gotta be very slow. She didn't even bite me that one time. She just lunged at me. Let's see. I'm just gonna give her pets. Be very nice. Be understanding. She's okay. It's okay, mama. No, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's done. You just gotta give them a space. Call it a day. But yes, but Rose is the only one I have that has that problem. And that's because, like I said, she's a rescue. See? She calms down. But, um... Yeah, just a little hint, guys. Don't be impatient. You know, unfortunately, sometimes you will catch a breeder that's not going to treat their animal as loving and caring as, you know, your typical good breeders. So, if you do get a situation like Spudrella... Don't be mean and think, oh, I can't do this, I can't handle it. You just got to be patient with them. got to work on them, see? 
she's eventually going to calm down. She will. I mean, doesn't seem like it right now, but I've had her in my sh like on my shoulder, calm as ever, you know, licking my neck, you know. So it's not like she's always like this. This is just, I guess, one of her bad days. She won't grow out of this, unfortunately, but it's not impossible to care for her. She'll get a lot calmer, but she won't completely grow out of this. Um, if you have any questions on how to deal with them, just let me know. Once I get a better camera, I'll try to do a little bit more of a detailed way of how I kind of calm them down. So, so once I usually get her in my hands, what I do is I'll, I'll give her kisses in the face and in the nose. And, you know, you guys think, how am I going to give this animal a kiss? Well, you just close her mouth. So that way she doesn't bite you. And that's not impossible to do. Just got <laughs> just gotta be patient. There we go. No, Spadrella. No, Spadrella. Good lord, see that? I almost had her. But she's good. She's a good one. Definitely don't test her. Ah, just like a snake behind the neck. So she doesn't turn back and bite you. Ah, ha, ha. See, now watch this. With my Spadrella. You're a good girl. See that? It's not impossible. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope that helped out and showed you. No matter how aggressive you are, you can always give your beauty a kiss.